Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that sounds good. Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Wolf 923 Gaming. Uh, we are starting a little early tonight because I have a voice acting meeting and we're probably going to only run about three hours tonight. So, because my meeting starts at seven. So, uh, just a heads up on that. Uh, of course we're playing Starfield. I'm also, my mic may turn off uh, every once in a while because I am also eating dinner. Hey, Anime Diva, what's up? Stella Stevens, thank you. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Uh, I hope you follow. Uh, appreciate, it. appreciate it. You're about eight away from affiliate, so I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. We're going to be doing Starfield tonight. Uh, then, of course... Uh, we are going to be uh, doing Team Up Thursday this week for the last time, because I believe our new schedule is going to be Team Up Tuesdays, uh, Let's Play Thursdays, and of course Star Wars Saturday, for now. Uh, that is going to be occurring after my vacation, uh, so, and yes, I do plan on getting the current videos up and posted before I leave for my trip, so don't worry on that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here, and we're gonna probably just run... I do want to run to the Aquila system to check something out again, but I also want to get ammo, and then we're gonna do some of the, uh... Uh, the game list I play. Uh, the game list I play are usually anything sci-fi or, uh, history-based, like Assassin's Creed, Halo, um, Starfield, of course. Star Wars. We also do Minecraft on Thursdays. Uh, we play GTA. So, pretty much it's a huge variety. So, uh, just all depends. Sometimes we even have some wacky games too. Like, uh, we do a game called Gang Beasts, which is just a knockdown, drag out game with your friends that you get in weird situations and you're just beating each other up. So, uh, it's a big variety. All right, so we're going to go ahead and launch into the game. Thank you. Appreciate that. This is also just kind of a chill channel. I like to talk with chat when chat is talky and uh, just kind of talk about our day. Uh, just talk to people who I know in the chat, stuff like that, so. No, I do not stream daily. I stream uh, usually Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or Sunday, uh, depending. It all depends on the schedule, but those are the days I usually stream. All right, here we are on our ship, the Star Eagle. Leave. Let's see what our mission is currently. Oh, my health status. God. End of the unknown. Anyway. Mm -hmm. There's that. Artifacts for collection. So I did get a few artifacts. Uh, so they're wanting us to get back to the lodge for those. I want to see how close I am to the Aquila system. Because I want to pick up ammo. Because my weapons are kind of like... Free Star Collective weapons, so yeah. Well, thank you. I'm glad you find that interesting. I hope you enjoy the stream. We're just going to be running for three hours today. Uh, well, till seven at least. So, uh, no, no. I think I need to sleep because I have some type of poisoning. Or Read any good books lately? I think I'm irradiated. Wow, all these, all this stuff. Let's get out technical. there and do something new today.
You found me from Twitter. Okay. Uh, well, X now, but yeah, I know. Uh, I do, uh, it's one of my few that I, uh, post on just, uh, mostly, uh, for... I just do try to see if I could get any new interested people. That's all. So, I'm glad you joined us. certainly ask something, that's what chat's for. Where's my stats? Nausea, food and drink are less effective. What do I have? Oh, poisoning. Okay. Yeah, you can ask away, but I'm going to tell you right now, if it's something about... Uh, Uh, no, thank you. I'm not interested in a logo at the moment. Um, that you may want to get a hold of me after uh, after uh, I reach 50. That's when I'm going to be looking into logos. I mean, we could talk on tw we could talk on Twitter sometime, but uh, as of right now, I'm not really interested in that. Not at the moment. So. Okay, I need to get an antidote or something. So let's see, where are we? Understood. Thank you. I'll contact you after the That's stream it. sometime. Enjoy that in Kila City Air. Will do. Always have fun on stream. Always good talking to people. Yeah, Aquila City. Let's make this quick. and I am looking for oh I know what I need to do okay so first off I need to get ammo so, 
Ah, emotes. I get all kinds in here. Everyone needs supplies. Take a gander. These I need. I'll buy your whole stock there. Do you have white hops? You do not have white hops. Need white hops. Like the only city with white hat rounds is here. Sure, I mean, I bet you Neon Atlas, probably has them. Ashta, those... okay. I took care of the Shaw Gang. You don't have to worry about the Shaw Gang, gang anymore. They're gone. I will take your... <laughs> ah, there we go. White hot. Not a lot, but it's white hot. Alright. So we got that. So now I'm going to pop into the nurse and get this poison taken care of. Everything good? We're here to help. Welcome to the rock. Did you? If you're hurt, you need medical supplies. Let's have a look at you. Ain't no other way to put this. You're in bad shape, Ranger. Yeah, I could use the help. Ain't no sugarcoating it. This is gonna hurt. Best bite down on something. Oh, All right, man. You're good to go. Gotta I keep need you to buy rangers some in fighting shape, right? See if you got some med packs. <laughs> Uh, antibiotic cocktail, heal gel, heal gel, heart injector. She has med packs. That doesn't do anything. I oh, there we go. Injector. Okay, so that'll cure that. So I'll keep a few of those on hand. Hmm. Usually I'm worried about the posts from people that are offering that, but uh, that seemed uh, relatively more real. Enjoy so. Aquila City, and for God's sake, be careful. Ranger. <laughs> uh, I like my Ranger outfit, I really do. I wish I had a duster, though. I really wish I knew how to get a duster. Now, I know I said what I said about story, you know, I but uh, I uh, kind of want to check out the Moon of Wellish again <laughs> to see if, uh, see if that ship's there. I know, I know, I'm asking for trouble, I'm going to get hurt, I'm going to be betrayed, but I need to know if it's actually been, like, patched or something. I mean, that's like a battleship level f ship that I could steal. And... Oh, there's another, there's another Star Eagle over there. That's neat. Uh, I 
do still have the Mantis. I'm not selling it. I love the Mantis. The Mantis is awesome. It's just this ship gives me so much more room uh, for all the people that I have with me. So I kind of have switched to the uh, to the Star Eagle. So nothing personal. Just works for what I want. Okay, so we want to go to the moon of Wellish. Wellish, right there. Landing area. Explore. Landing area. Explore. No, it's not here. Dang it. It's supposed to be like a prosthetics lab or something. A robotics lab or something, but ah oh well. Okay, we did what we were supposed to do. Asteroids. Hmm. No, 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 no. Let's just head back. We want to get our stuff to where it needs to go. I know that they say that you can earn a lot of money moving contraband around, but I need to know, like, where is safe to go with it. <laughs> because that's just really, really sketch to just try and uh, land with that. <laughs> okay, so set his line. Land. Lodge. We have two pieces. I believe I stuck around long enough on last stream to get two pieces. Thanks, we don't. I am at your service, Captain. We were worried. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty handed. They can uh, be sorry, anywhere, Mateo. can't they? They're embedded in a rock? Or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? Yeah, very possible. I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of oh, science boy. if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse oh, of space boy. exploration? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um... I... I... This is like a totally... This is a question that I, uh, I mean, this is kind of like saying science or religion, and I mean, I'm all for dreams, I am, uh, but I mean, science is hard fact. Oh man, I could just bow out and not take sides, but I really kind of want to stand firm on my own ideals. <laughs> 
Uh, Another something. realist has joined our ranks. I'm outnumbered. The truth hurts, Sorry, Mateo. buddy. And Mateo ropes us into another round of philosophy. Can't we agree both are important? Yes. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. Oh, yeah. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, mm. pulling That's some interesting data from those new artifacts. No. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Oh, I then... Thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. I have no new artifacts, okay, so... Do I want her... Can I put her on my crew? I kind of want to put her on my crew. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> Yes. Sweet. I mean, eventually, one stream, when I have the time, I would like to do a bit of editing on the Star Eagle here. Number one, make it a color I like. I mean, I don't dislike this. This is fine. Uh, for what it is now, but I want to customize to make it my own, because it's my ship now. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's awesome. Oh, other ships. Oh man, look at that comparison to the Star Eagle. <laughs> uh, our good old Manus. I tell you, the Manus has its charm. It's a good fighter, I'll give it that. Uh, but we just needed a... We needed, like, a warship. Because I like getting into fights, and I like having a big crew, so... I will become King of the Pirates now. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing that. Uh... <laughs> Is there a way to paint? I don't think I could do it here, but... Alright, let's get out of here, because Vladimir wants us. I have no skill points. Okay, so we're good there, good there. I need to go talk to Vladimir. Um, what other missions do I have? Yeah, so we'll go talk to Vladimir. Found Andrea. I found every. Wow, that's good. Mm. Mm, okay. I need to go find Percival Walker a bit. I took care of the bounty on Willish. What other activities do I have? Okay. Oh, wow. I have a lot of other activities. <laughs> okay. Visit London Landmark. Oh. Well, maybe sometime. But let's stick to what we got. Great Lardo Caper. Okay. All right. I see where we're going, so. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I want to see if my favorite janitor is still working here. I both want to see her, and I also don't want to see her, because I want her to move on and go somewhere better, where she'll be better appreciated. 
Or she could get coffee every day. Café, café, café. Or Fifi. I get a lot of people that have messaged me about the, like the SSSN uh, thing. They say it's good passive money. Uh, I don't think. Uh, I think you gotta figure out what qualifies as good passive money. One day, here. I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. Another Gonna no. the credit. Oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. <laughs> Like I said before, I love my job, but it can be a lot of hard, tiring work. My last Terracino's worn off, I guess. Really? That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. I'm just feeding an addiction. <laughs> See you around. Terracino's it is. Sam is not on our crew anymore, so that's interesting. Let me see. Because I like him. Oh. Yeah, you're going on Star Eagle too. Oh, I have? Okay, who can I get rid of? Uh, Lynn. I'll get rid of Lynn. Oh, honestly. Yes. Lynn goes. We get the lovely chat chat. So, my former co worker. <laughs> awesome. I'm happy with that. Let's go with Terracino. Gonna be drama at the Terracino this time. Hey. Man, seventy five credits for a cup of coffee. Uh, I don't know. It's Thankful these rides are quick. I do not like being in all enclosed spaces. What is it? Okay, I should be on, uh, I shouldn't be turning off my mic much, uh, anymore. Just finished eating, so, I wonder good. if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. No, probably not. I'm so excited to see Tony. Nice! I have to keep my energy up so New Atlantis can stay clean and tidy. Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Ooh, Chunk's egg package. Yay. Don't be a stranger. Egg. Yeah, I try not to be.
Oh, wow, it's raining. I don't think I ever remember it raining on New Atlantis. No, I don't think so. That's neat. I know it was raining on Neon. That's for sure. I've eaten my food a little too fast. I do find that statue pleasing. I wonder if it matches the original vision of the artist, or if they changed the design as they worked on it. It's something to think about. A little too profound for my taste, but hey. Andrea, just, just give me some space. Let me get some through here. I like Andrea, but I just wanted to get through the door. <laughs> Alright. Something you need? No, I'm good. You need something? Sam? Where are you, Sam? Oh, hi, Sam! <laughs> Where's the kiddo? Alrighty, into the seat we go. Okay, so we gotta go up to the eye. Why is someone always under my ship when I take off and start screaming? <laughs> Red Apogee, surrounded by stars and the vastness of space. This is life on fire. I remember when I first tried docking with something, I almost, uh, I almost totally blew up my ship because I didn't know that it was an auto procedure. <laughs> I have to go through the docking thing. It's not a little landing. <laughs> I'm an idiot. The docking door is here. Nope, it's not there. Oh wow, the docking door is having a good way. Day. This is new for me. That's interesting. I've got to explore this part of the ship.
Vladimir, I found your gun. <laughs> Taking that. <laughs> Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. Okay. Alright, let me transfer over the data. But, I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Catchy smile. Maybe. Who knows, Vlad? Who knows? Yeah, I kind of want to see why current thing with the ship. This thing I want to see. I don't remember this. I didn't see this. This is just like a hangout room. Our ship is way bigger than Dad's. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate upstand. It's. <laughs> I appreciate upstaging your father. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's a bed there. <laughs> Gold triangle sculpture. Ahoy, Captain! <laughs> She's adorable, ladies and gentlemen. She is adorable. So is this like one of the wings I have here? Or I don't know where I was there. I just really haven't looked over the ship in depth because I've just been running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth for everything. And really kind of... I like exploring my ships and look, hanging around my ship. It's just awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm up for a little adventure. Are you? Sit. Unduck. Okay. We've oh, and let's get out of here. For the curious out there, th tonight's meeting that I'm going to is a voice acting meeting for the project I'm on, uh, uh, Shattered Nights. Um, it is a <coughs> little project going on that. Uh, I believe it's kind of medieval based. Um, very interesting. If you ever heard of the show Ruby, it's kind of inspired by that, but also not. Uh, it is completely original. Uh, from what I know, it's just inspiration. You get it where you can. Uh, but uh, yeah, I play. Uh, I play one character in it, and a uh, few. I also do narration and some other like little side uh, things for it 
so uh, I'm very happy to be part of the project. Uh, but uh, yeah, we have they have a uh, I believe they have a Twitter, an Instagram, and a YouTube up and running. So uh, maybe a Facebook. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so check it out. Get a, get a sub down to wait for the videos to come out, and can't wait to hear you have you uh, listening to my lovely voice uh, in another project. So okay, so the anomaly. Got land. Landing side looks clean. Let's set it down. Living things. Okay. It's a treasure. Okay, so I guess I am. Hear a pulse. I gotta be getting close. Up. Oh. So many unknowns. I mean, it doesn't really give me a hint as to where I need to go, so I'm kind of just following stuff. But that looks fancy and glowy and floaty, and that's what we're dealing with is floaty stuff, so... <laughs> My gosh, I'm so Follow distortions on the skin. I mean, I'm not really seeing a lot of distortion. This looks ancient and important. Gravitational anomaly. Stuff. Oh wow, you have stuff. How many things have you eaten? Wow, you killed a lot of stuff. <laughs> I really just wanted the credits for you, buddy, but jeez, a loo. Alright, so we found that. Uh, we found this gravitational anomaly. Swamp weed. Uh. 
so let's see. Multiple gravitational converge at this location and remain locked with each other. Okay. So there's more. Okay. So let's go here. Another unknown. It says follow the distortions, but I mean, the thing stopped blipping on me a while ago, so I'm just kind of exploring. I'm sure I missed out on what it was. <laughs> dangerous if I can avoid fighting you I really have no issue with you crab people Andrea. <laughs> Stimulant bone. Bone tissue. Okay. Let's go to the planet. Let's just try to find this anomaly. Let's kill all the crabs. Oh. That's anomalous. <laughs> I hope this is part of it. Ah, oh, hell. Oh, there goes one. Come on, big boy. Hope they're running away. I just wanted to get him away. If I keep this up, I'm going to have Swamp Lee completely scanned in. It's hard to gun. Oh, that's dangerous. That's gayus. Oh, lung damage. Okay, hang on. I've got a cure for that. Was an injector, I believe? A mobilizer? No, injector. There we go. Lung damage cured. <laughs> Ta da! Cough. <laughs> Oh, 
another gravitational anomaly. Masked zoologist. Scanner anomalies that way. <laughs> oh man, I totally f this up. Do I have anything that treats frostbite? <sighs> oh, no, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> there we go. Heal paste. Scans. Uh oh. Grab stalkers. As long as you stay over there, we ain't gonna have a problem. <laughs> it's Andrea that may cause a fight. <laughs> Avoid the corrosive gas. Oh, more crabs. Stay over there. Andrea, don't engage. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> We're holding up for okay. How'd that happen? Gas got too close. Shit. I need better ventilation. <laughs> Lips, there's the distortion on my skin. Frostbite. Let's 
can still go in strong. Same follow this. seem to be dying. <laughs> okay. So, might have to switch up my s Oh, I only got one suit. That might be a problem. Uh, I have... I mean, it's not killing me. Oh, it was heal paste I needed. Heal paste. Yeah. Oh, got that. <laughs> Just used the last of that, so... So, the choice is go back to the Star Eagle and see if one of my other suits works. Or, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corrosive. Seems to be this way. Hypothermia! Freezing liquid. I hope this is it, because I kind of want to jump back to my ship. <laughs> Source of the anomaly. So there's an entrance somewhere around here. There we go. Pain. <laughs> there we go. myself. Okay, 
so I can deal with that. Get that med pack it out. All right, protections regenerate. I just came in that way, so there's another door over here. So is that another door? I think it's another door. <laughs> okay, we're back outside. Don't want to be back outside. No, no. We don't like it out here. <laughs> me scan anything. Hello. Okay. Sparkly. Another sparkly. Another sparkly. <laughs> oh, that's really revving it up. Music. Getting trippy.
I, I'm really just going off of what I see here. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going into the little bulbs of light. Halo, I knew it. <laughs> oh, whoa. to the lodge. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty now. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> I still have frostbite, by the way. <laughs> Scan shows it's a uh, stinky bog plant. I've got to have to get treated for. Does kind of suck. <laughs> I got frostbite. Fuck that. I scanned you already. Yep, I scanned you already because I harvest. Rotting stink root. Those little buggers are fine. Those things are me. <laughs> Whew. So I hope everyone else's week's going fine. Uh, mine's going good. Just... Getting things taken care of before going on vacation. I've gotten all the training for my uh, trainees done. They're both doing very well. Uh, it's their last shadow with me, and then they're going to be taking over the job next week to see who's going to get it. So that's all random gravy there. So very excited for both of them. They're both very well matched. I honestly cannot say who will get it, who won't. Uh, yeah. So. Any adventure you can fly away from. Yeah, I'm hurting. Well, any landing you can walk away from is the actual saying, but yeah, sure, we could do that. So I want to put the Mantis suit up. But I want to get one of my other suits, too. So I gotta go into... what I put in the save? Actually, 
take the ranger's suit out too. So. I have a. There's a computer over here. Cargo, isn't there? At least I had a computer. Oh, I got a skill point. Okay. <laughs> That's what it's telling me about. Okay, okay. back in the simulator. Maybe my conversation skills? Or my health? Well, this too. Well, that could be useful. My 10 kilograms, though? Maximum health, I'll take that. What did I put it into? I don't know what I put it into. <laughs> oh. Generate localized field, low gravity. Behold the plant's true power. Oh. Interesting. That is interesting. Now I want to find my freaking cargo. <laughs> oh, wow. Hope that's not like crushing my ship. <laughs> I know a lot of these are pretty crummy compared, but... I really should upgrade some of these suits. <laughs> I just gotta learn how to do that.
Geronimo! I need to see if it's like a medical station or something. The bright lights and reflections are almost enough to make you forget about those living down in the well. Got to talk with Barrett now. First off, I need to heal my frostbite. <laughs> Yay, she's going home. Well, let's go to my beach. Bounty is open. Just need something that's like a med bay or something. Or a hospital. <laughs> I figured that would be in a commercial district. <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell is he screaming about? Embassy district. I may have gone to the wrong place. Oh, there's medical. I need fix. <laughs> fix, please. I need fix. <laughs> fix hurt bad, please. Giant medical. Yep. No, I'm not feeling that bad. We have an appointment. you are seeing the doctor. That's it. Doctor. 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 There we go. Doctor. <laughs> the majority of citizens here in New Atlantis count on welcome to a reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Uh, I need you fixed. How can I help? Oh I have my. frostbite. It's a good thing you came in to see me. Frostbite fix. All right, we'll clean things up and get you back out into the world. Just relax and take long, slow, deep breaths. This will be over soon. Everything looks good. 
Well, you've certainly come to the right place. <sighs> okay, heal paste. In case that frickin' happens again. <laughs> Oh yeah, med packs. Drop packs. Reliant has developed a regimen to acclimate individuals like you to full gravity. It's a routine procedure and irreversible. Check all the time you need. It's a big decision. Okay. It's taken weeks of talking to get my wife. Alrighty, so I gotta go to the lodge. At least I'm all healed. I went through a spinny hoop. I do not quite enjoy New Atlantis, but this... <laughs> this is much better. Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? from the heavens and also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far got no old shipwise for this one going to just call weird weird <laughs> thank you vladimir so we have artifacts a temple and this power all connected but we do not understand the connections we need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think you know, about. Anyway, you know that's the thing about Vladimir's character I like is that he I talks on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. have the way he speaks is like, like so. He speaks in a way that is so uh broken but he also likes to uh but it all has a meaning so it, well, it all it actually makes sense rink. when you listen to it <laughs> i hope you're not taking the job permanently
There's a lot less paperwork in Constellation. And the benefits are pretty good, too. A badge is just a symbol, a, a, a promise, a hope. You don't have to wear the object to be true to those goals. Anyway, I'm just glad Ron Hope is gone. Those farmers are gone, but you prevented the next group of people from suffering. It was a hard choice that you made, but I'm proud of you, Captain. Okay, so I took care of that. Doesn't get too much underfoot. Barrett. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. Soiree? It's about an artifact. And our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which oh, means we're the going home. is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Ah, yes, you're intimately familiar with the area. No need to sugarcoat then. It's going to be treacherous, but I'm hoping our combined talents will be able to handle it. It just means being prepared for physical conflict, as well as the usual corporate machinations. What do you say? I just need a ride to Neon, we talk to a few of your fellow Neon citizens, and then we're back for drinks. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Okay. Going home. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. Some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. They think it is. And that makes them dangerous. <laughs> I'm wearing it on your sleeves a bit there, folk. Ah, uh, the crunchy sounds of takeoff. I'm listening. Huh? What are you doing here? 
Wait, does my crew just randomly travel around when I'm not there? You didn't hear this from me, but those ecliptic mercenaries. Oh, they all leave to go back to where they're assigned. That's what happens. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always vying. Kiosk right here for you. Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. Sure, how about it? Oh, yeah, I like that. <clears throat> that actually looks pretty good. I like a nice deep navy blue.
I like that silver and blue. I can live with that. I can live with that. Now it's my ship. <clears throat> I'm happy with that. All right, that's dealt with. What can I help you with? Absolutely nothing. We're good. Boarding my ship. I find the interior of this ship comforting. I'm glad you do, because I really like this ship too. Oh wow, you're here? Well, I knew he'd be here, but I didn't think he'd be here here. <laughs> Gotta find out where my ship cargo bay is. Oh, damn it, Sam. <laughs> there we go. for a few things. Definitely lightens the load. <sighs> okay. Now that's taken care of Stroud, shall we? The new paint job <laughs> is totally me. Orbital insertion completed. I see people in the chat. I wonder why people ain't talking. Well, if one zooms, all I know that he's just listening. <laughs> I don't think I was in Neon long enough to 
to uh, check out weapons or anything like that. Oh, I think I've got a skill point now that I went up a level, so I better check into that. Let us the effort. Now I actually have one. Oh heck yeah, we're up in our health as much as we can. <laughs> to make this place livable is astounding. No end what can be accomplished when they're all... Hey, Stroud. Ah, smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm gas. Quite true, but also opportunity. Our opportunity. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekron offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred. Even for something like this. Okay, let's go. Wow, am I... Okay, I was gonna say, how am I so much taller than him? I was just standing on something. <laughs> that one of my good revolvers? Yeah. My bashing razor bow. I don't really want to... See, I like my Razorback, but this thing's got more ammo. I just want to find a good source of a ammo for my Razorback. <laughs> Security cares far more about what you take with you when you leave Neon than what you... The effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. Okay, uh, Andrea, let's talk. Here, I have something for you. Oh? Yes, well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or, well, whatever. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Wow, credits. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. People sometimes just give me a leaf. Take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. It's an interesting eye patch. Good. Then just buy what you want and get out of here. If you don't oh, like so it, so you're from New York. To Sticks. He runs our um, complaints department. <laughs> That's more like it. You know, just show I'm me what sick you got. and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. 
Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. <laughs> Feel like bringing the pain, huh? If you got white hots. Well, you've got my uh, MA arrays. So. That's good. Yep, you got white hots. We're taking them, buying them all. What's boom boom? Oh, that's boom boom. Nah, nah. Coachman, drum beat, equinox, mag shot. Modified auto rivet. Uh, Beowulf. I like Beowulf's drum beat. Ooh, you're an interesting lawgiver. Orion, that's not bad. Tombstone and a stock Orion, a pacifier. Razorback. Regulator. <sighs> Grendel. Press breach. Ooh, that's a shotgun. Uh, buzz cut rare rifle. Cutlass. Interesting selection. So, let's boogie on out. I got what I wanted. <sighs> You'd do that. Huh. Okay. Maybe I misjudged you. Huh. I'm glad you see sticks is more than just a possession. The low oh, like that robots. did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the abside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. Warlord's one of the Disciples, one of Neon's street gangs that claims it owns Ebside. A few years back, the gang tried to break in here and rob my place, but sticks put one of them down and sent another to Reliant on a stretcher. He and his buddies have been harassing me ever since. Mostly by scaring away my customers and stealing my deliveries. Warlord still swears he'll get even with me. And he came pretty damn close when he somehow managed to disable Sticks and sprayed him with paint. It feels like it's only a matter of time before he gets past Sticks, and I'm done for. All right, get out of here. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. You want to speak to me again? <laughs> Dang, Andrea. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? Nor I, nor I suspect anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? It is hard to argue, but the implications... I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you alright? Have you felt any side effects? A cynical person might suggest that in itself could be a side effect. But for now, we will just assume you have been very fortunate. 
the artifacts that temple this new ability you have acquired clearly they are all connected this is all so much bigger than we realized You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. To learn more about what is at work here. Wow. Okay, somehow we have jumped up to 45 followers. I really hope these aren't bots. That would be amazing if that's true. I really hope they aren't bots. Foria. Hey there, friend. But I won't know if they're bots until everything syncs up, so it's going to be a bit. Oh, hang on. Let me see. Security's got its eyes on Saburo Oka Digbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo. Sure you find yourself on the wrong end of the bounty. Chimera, all good. day. What do you like, Art? I don't know. Chimera's nice, but Venocity, that will get you hammered. So you you just should see the tag job Down on the robot in Neon way. Tacticals. My best work. By the third Chimera, you're floating on frickin' Cloud Nine. I don't know about you. <sighs> that Cyclops should be thanking yeah, me. Yeah, I guess you're right. I dressed up his toy what real nice, gave him a total makeover. Like that He's anyway. lucky that's all I did. What Let's that face thing it, did to my just crew. Gifted. Yeah, I do. And I'll make art out of your guts if you step out of line. And what makes you think I will? Oh boy, here I go. <laughs> I kept myself out of a fight. I better than I thought. <laughs> People should be proud of me. <laughs> I did good. <laughs> so good. Okay. 
switch out. Oh, I gotta get back to him and give him his money before I switch my mission. <laughs> Kinetics isn't the only game in town, you know. Good work. I hope you made him squirm. <laughs> Good. I bet that punk shit his pants when you threatened him. Thanks. Sticks is gonna get a new paint job, a coat of wax, the works. He's gonna look brand new. Oh, and here. For your trouble. The other day, Sticks, uh, I met a miner for the Kazam. I'm sorry, I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Uh, yeah, I mean... I didn't get her either. Not at first. But then I realized she wasn't a miner. She was a gold digger. <laughs> How did I know? Because all she ever wanted was mine. <laughs> get it? <laughs> Sticks, you're laughing under that thing, I can tell. I'm sorry, I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. You know, okay. Sticks, crime in the city gets worse by the day. Van is the Back to what we were doing. Hey, the guy had the ammo I wanted, and I just felt like I owed him one for having the ammo I wanted. So, why not? I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou. Clearly, the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. Hang on. Hang on. Shall we follow the signs? No, we gotta go to Eklund Stroud, it says. I have an Eglin Shroud ship. I'm very happy with it. Look at this. I'm happy you've come by our showroom today. On behalf of Stroud Eglin, I'd like to welcome you to our showroom today. A significant advantage over our competitors. You can configure your desired spacecraft at any one of our conveniently located kiosks. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help. I'm glad you enjoyed. Feel free to have a look. He's been to Neon a few times, but what I can say if you're in the market for spacecraft, please don't forget about us. I guess I'm good. I mean, I stopped by Eklund Stroud. Oh, corporate HQ. I was gonna say. <laughs> Mr. Strout, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Uh, Mr. Strout, you are so lucky. <laughs> Walter. Isa. Shall we continue from last time? Oh, the luxury Stroud cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. 
No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. I should be nice. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. <laughs> oh, please. Who was it again, Walter? The founder of Constellation? Sebastian Banks. His final address before he disappeared. I merely found a group of like-minded individuals. Just like all of us. You're a nerd! I have not been part of Constellation as long as some, but from what I have seen, I would not call that an inaccurate description. Can we move on? Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Exactly. You can see how removed my husband is from the groundwork if he's overlooked something so obvious. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the oh, phone conversations that anyway. kind of, I mean, I figured it was James part James Newell is the broker but... who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about and it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Tally ho! Good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, get out of my face. Want to gawk at something? Ranger. Has a full line 
protective equipment and accessories. Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Siegert himself. That hmm. man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon's security to keep his place safe. Hmm. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money, I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Tell everyone you know about our store. We had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. Welcome to Newell's. Sieghart's outfitter. Rosa Newell is my wife. We own this place together. Well, normally I wouldn't go in for that sort of thing. That man has absolute... He skips mer... Everyone has a choice. The only way to fight Neon security is if all... Anyway, sorry. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around... Maybe I did? Maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. New intel, new transaction. Take it. I connect a lot of people with a lot. Eh, done talking. Not getting more from me about any of this. Yeah, money. Had a freelancer good. trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Yep. At times, sometimes money, best thing. I've had enough, Rosa. We have everything you could possibly want. Why should I? He enables them, Rosa. He's hey there, friend. Need something? All right, we're getting close to the end here for the night, folks. Um... Usually our four or five hour runs are a bit more
hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Just checking. So that's security. That's where I'm going next. Rather be doing this than getting mixed up with the gangs. Five people, no talkers. That's interesting. I hope everyone has a good week for the rest of the week. I've still got some training to do for some people. Uh, and a few things I gotta generate, so that's gonna be fun. That's interesting. Now, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you, Kelly. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Mm. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Excellent. I can afford it. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Oh, ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Enjoy the lounge. Yes? Excuse me.
I never had the patience for computer systems. Neither do I. That's why I just work and get it done. <laughs> I want to walk past him in that dialogue. Excuse me, kid. All right. Thirty-nine minutes. Oh. These two are cute. Is everything ready? The Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. She's awesome. I like these two. These two are a cute couple. And people say business and romance can't exist. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trevor. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Okay. Can't you see I'm busy drinking? 
Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Found him. <laughs> Guess the giant suitcase was a big give. <laughs> You stand out, Walter. <laughs> Good job. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? This will be fun. I find matching wits with the neon underworld to always be invigorating. Geez, Stroud. <laughs> James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. But no percentage in causing problems in Neon. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Not my problem. It is if you leave empty-handed. We came here in good faith. Now honor our previous agreement. You either figure out a way to give me what I want, or I walk out of here right now. I'm not hearing here's the money. I'm on a tight timetable. And we would have wrapped up already if you hadn't gotten greedy. Our original offer stands. Now, what's it going to be? Uh, I... All right, you win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Fair. Well, it's on. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Is there a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly.
30 minute warning. Ace. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's creased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. Not my star, Eagle. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Yep, I've got a bounty on my head. <laughs> nice to see you, Reiru. You don't want to pick a fight with me. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's not my fault, it's the old man. <laughs> He's the one who started this idea. I'm just his security. I'm gonna get paid for this, so... <laughs> Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Mm. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Oh, I don't plan to get caught. I'm working on the problem right now. Ah, oh, there does seem to be a hole in his schedule. Talked my way into it. See, Reiru, oh, I got this under I think control. we can make an exception <laughs> in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Mm hmm Oh, and an elevator. I hear Slayton's had some major layoffs recently. Janky elevator. <laughs> Wait, this building uh, is at the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's Oh, everyone in the chat who's interested, Rayru is a fellow streamer I'm friends with uh, in real life. Uh, if they're, when they're up and streaming, you should go check them out. Really neat stuff. They're definitely better than me. <laughs> trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Oh, it's his wife! Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. <laughs> okay, you need to shut up. <laughs> Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Yoink! Do 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 That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Do do do. A better day, 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 Oh, right here. Just climb up. Da 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 do 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 do
No point slipping through unnoticed now. You have to fight your way to the exit. Really? Well. See, this is all his fault. We could have been civil. For the record, I didn't get caught. You're not walking out of here. Am I not? First off, I need to uh Nope. Nope, we're good. Okay. Moving on. Bang, bang, bang. This isn't worth it. I can't do this. We're losing. This is bad. Oh, do you have a gun? Bring it. I really didn't want to shoot you. Give me some cover. Oh, you have money. Okay. Here. <laughs> Armed his entire staff. Wow. Are you I mean, prepared to die? Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely after the creds. Anyone else want to try? Equal opportunity escapee here. Whoa. Take your best shot. Any like super secret weapons you could uh, tell me about? There was no other way for it to end. There's the door. It should take you outside. Really? You expect us to climb up the trade tunnel? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up hey. to the exit level. Well, yeah. I guess after you. And I'm out. I never got caught. <laughs> My ship better not be impounded. My Star Eagle's my baby. On me. Yeah, nice try. Best to be quiet and just let us go. Be you shooting from? Seriously, this is an embarrassment for you. I mean, come on. You can't hope to win. I go up there. I'm just trying to get to my platform here, folks. Go this way. Okay. Nice try. See what that is. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Yep, I'm good. 
Unless I absolutely need it. Nah. Is it necessary for this fight? Will it help me in this fight? Careful. 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 Still got one unaccounted for. There you are. Hey, buddy. Okay, so here's where your mistake was. You got hired by a guy who's a douchebag. All right, 20 minute warning, 20 minute warning. Nicholas Slate. Okay, so we're gonna crush an empire. That's awesome. Okay, the pests are gone. Okay, so. so, so, so. Okay, you. You guys really made a bad decision. Number one. Well, I'll never piss off a spacer who just does not care. I mean, I was born on this planet. I know how this shit rolls. I knew this was going to happen. Ooh, med pack. I'll take that. And a heartbeat. Oh, Nicholas, can I have your business? Oh. Your boss is dead. Okay. Wow, they're all running. Die today. So we go where? I gotta see what's in here. <laughs> oh, advanced. Okay, that did a good fit. Nice. Level of clicks. Oh, I have to do it again? <sighs> I love Starfield. <laughs> Fifteen-minute warning. Get 
the wake up call from my uh, meeting, so. Came after you too, huh? Mm -hmm. You gonna let me go? Thank you. No offense. But I hope we never see each other again. Offense taken, and the feeling is absolutely mutual. The feeling's mutual. Hello. A lot of credits. What is this stuff? Mm. Oh, no, that was illegal. <laughs> Contraband. Oh, man, I can't do that. <laughs> I suppose that is ours now. Oh, yeah. Slate and slate. Ah. Hey. Mm -hmm. Any other good books? Notebook, 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 notebook. Bathroom. Any light reading? Oh, it's the guy's name who I can't say because he's currently being investigated, and everyone, uh, everyone who's a psycho will try to cancel me if I say his name. <laughs> Ooh, credit chip. Uh, your money is mine. Ooh, a safe? Do I have time? It's a master. I can't do masters. Shoot. Funny thing is, is master locks are actually some of the easiest locks to pick. No special books. Anything here? Ah, uh, this is all theft. If I take it. Ah, uh, rivet gun. Nah, nah. Credits. Ah, oh, ton of credits. All right, let's go. Gotta get to the ship. Gotta get to my meeting. Am I going up? I don't need to go up. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Oh yeah, he is. He's dead. <laughs> I address that properly. I hope that uh, those two aren't mad at me. I mean, the guy's gone. Uh... Demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. Hysterical.
All right, I believe I'm safe. I hope I didn't take anything that's contraband. Be careful if you run into those Okay, I've got nine minutes till the three hour mark. Now still give me time to get to my meeting. So that's awesome. There's my beauty. It is good to be back in our own I didn't I want to kill anybody. A chance to work in the field. So, thank you. We are clear for liftoff. What the heck is that? Something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. That's not any type of ship I recognize. So vague. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. We're out of here. <laughs>
group at the lodge immediately. Scan complete. Tell Noel to analyze the data Atlantic. off the ship's sensors. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. All right, so just to wrap up here in the last three minutes. Um, so we've gotten far on the main story here. Um, and met, like the people that make these things, which they aren't happy we're finding them, so that's great. <laughs> um, Nothing else. Constellation. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see how this goes. I mean, like I said, I'm probably I'm gonna be going on vacation, but I mean, I'd love to continue doing like side stories on my own and such. Well, still uh, working on the main story with you guys. Uh, maybe learning how to actually upgrade my suit so that I can actually go out in the rainstorm without getting frostbite. So that'll be something. But I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. I know it's a little bit shorter, but hey, I gotta work with the time frames I got. Uh, so yeah, just doing what we can do best. So. Uh, How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? So, I hope that you all enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys on Thursday for our team up in Minecraft again. Uh, I know that some of us are working in the nether, some of us are working in top world exploring and such like that. Uh, last time I went a little crazy. Yeah, it's ending It's ending early tonight, Clay. I have a meeting. So, um, yeah. But, uh, so. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over but, now. Uh, Hope to see you again. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Here at the table. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Uh, is that is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything so we. She's examining this here. Uh, yeah. So. Everyone, come take a look at this. I hope this runs in a minute here, because <laughs> so I've got 13 minutes. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Corps. Demanded we hand over the artifact. So. Like we were children. But... Things. What now that we know about have? the Starborn here, groups go uh, by that name. With that, None let's uh, remember seen. to explore, discover, the create, innovate, colony, and be kind to everyone out there. The world's kind of in a state at the moment. We all just need to be nice to one another, be accepting and kind. Uh, and we'll see you next time on Dark Wolf Gaming 923. And like I said, this week's say, videos will be going up before I go on vacation, so everything will be up to date and we'll be starting up new videos. When I get back, and the new schedule or is even that, Team Up Tuesday, Let's Play Thursday, and Star Wars Saturday. So, yeah. So, we're so, really we excited about it. theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. So. Trying to get through this. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. 
Not so sure about that. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand Guess them out as soon as you please. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get saved. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Yes, exactly. See you then, Clay.